Welcome back. The objectives of this video is to define geometric sequences. We'll do some samples. We'll write terms of geometric sequences and we'll find a term of a geometric sequence. So to define a geometric sequence, we saw in a previous lesson that an arithmetic sequence has a common difference. In a geometric sequence, those sequences have a common ratio. A geometric sequence is a sequence in which consecutive terms have a common ratio as opposed to consecutive terms having a common difference, which we saw in the arithmetic sequence. So we'll define our geometric sequence is essentially the next term divided by the previous term. a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 is equivalent to a sub 3 divided by a sub 2 or as I like to say, the next term divided by the previous equals our r, or our common ratio. So here are some samples of some geometric sequences. So this sequence here, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on, our ratio is 4 over 2, which is the same ratio as 8 over 4. So our sequence our common ratio is 2 or 2 to the n. Here we have a sequence of 12, 36, 108. Our r is equal to 36 over 12, which is the same as 108 over 36 is equal to 3. Now this one's a little bit different. Our r is 3 and then raised to the n, but that is then multiplied by 4. So our first term here, 12 is 3 to the first, or 3, but times 4. 36 is 3 to the second, or 9, but again, times 4. Our sequence here is 4 times 3 raised to the n. And our third sequence is a sequence whose nth term is 1 third to the n. Our ratio must be, or is negative 1 third, our ratio is negative one-third. So if I divided these, one-ninth divided by one-third is negative one-third. Our sequence here is negative one-third raised to the n. So again, our r is given to us here. So in this sample, we're going to write the first four terms of the geometric sequence whose nth term is six times negative two raised to the n, and then find the common ratio of the consecutive term. Hopefully we can see this from our previous problems. Our r here is negative two. That's gonna be our common ratio. Our first term is equal to six times negative two, all raised to the first power, which is negative 12. a sub two is six times negative two raised to the second power, which is six times four, which is 24. a sub three, 6 times negative 2 to the third power, or 6 times negative 8, which is negative 48. a sub 4, 6 times negative 2 to the fourth power, so this one's going to be positive, and we get 6 times 16, which is 96. So we've got the first four terms. We found our common ratio, and so we've successfully completed sample 2. Our second objective, writing the terms of a geometric sequence. The nth term of a geometric sequence takes on this form, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1. Again, r is our common ratio of consecutive terms of the sequence. We can write every geometric sequence as highlighted here. Our a sub 1 is just going to be a sub 1, but then our second term of the sequence is a sub 1, or the first term, times our ratio. And our third term of our sequence is a sub 1 times our ratio squared. And our fourth term is a sub 1 times our ratio raised to the third power. Our exponent is the number minus 1. Our no exponent on our ratio is the number of the term less 1. And then we multiply that by our first term. So that gives us this particular formula. When you know the nth term of a geometric sequence, you can find the n plus one term, or the next term, 
by multiplying by r. Our next term is equal to our previous term times our ratio. Going back just a little bit, we're going to want to keep this particular formula handy. And we don't always have to have, this will not always have to be consecutive terms here. The a sub n could be, you know, one particular term. And a sub 1 doesn't necessarily have to be a the first term. This could be any other term, or what I would say is a second term in our sequence. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the consecutive term. It's just another term. For example, a sub 8 could equal a sub 3 times r to the 8 minus 3. This is another way to look at this one. Because we have n minus 1, that's just our, this is our n, and this is a sub 1, so that's why it was 1. So now we're going to do the same kind of thing, but we could do 8 minus 3. Something to keep in mind, and we'll apply that in just a few minutes. Third sample in our video, we want to write the first five terms of the geometric sequence whose first term is a sub 1 is 3, and whose common ratio, r, is 2. Borrowing our formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Our first term, a sub 1, or a sub n, a sub 1 is our n, equals 3 times our r, 2, to the 1 minus 1, n minus 1 we get a sub 1 equals 3 times 2 to the 0 power. So a sub 1 is indeed 3. So that checks out. We're able to use that. That works. So we can move on to the second one. Our second term, a sub 2, equals 3 times our ratio 2 to the n minus 1 or 2 minus 1. So a sub 2 equals 3 times 2, or 6. Our third term, a sub 3 equals 3 times 2. This came from 3 minus 1 was our exponent. And then on this one, our exponent was 4 minus 1, and 5 minus 1. And we found all of our terms. So a sub 3 equals 3 to the 2, the 3 minus 1. a sub 4 equals 3 times 2 to the 4 minus 1. In sample 4, we're going to use our formula once again, our a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. We're going to find a term of a geometric sequence. So here we're instructed to find the 15th term of a geometric sequence whose first term is 20 and whose common ratio is 1.05. So we want to find a sub 15, we have a sub 1 equals 20, our r equals 1.05. Substituting everything into our formula, a sub n is simply the 15th term, a sub 1 is 20, our r is 1.05, our n is 15, so this 15 here is also that 15 minus 1, which is our first term, our a sub 1. So that's why we have 15 minus 1. We end up with a sub 15, our 15th term, equals 20 times 1.05, all raised to the 14th power. Put that in your calculator. Give us an answer of about 39.6. In sample 5, five we want to find the formula for the nth term of the geometric sequence 5, 15, 45. What is the nth term of this particular sequence? Well, our r here, we can figure that out. We've got that in our notes here. The common ratio is 15 over 3 equals 3 because a sub 1 equals 5. I'm not sure why they have 15 over 3. It should be 15 over 5. 15 over 5 is 3. 45 over 15 is 3. So 3 is our r, and a sub 1 equals 5. That's our first term. And we want to find the ninth term of the sequence. Substituting everything in, 
the ninth term, a sub 9, equals 5, because that's our a sub 1. 3 is our r to the n minus 1. 3 to the 8th must be 6,561 times 5 equals 32,805. Looking at this from a little bit different perspective, we could have also done something like this. We want to find a sub 9, but instead of using 5, we could have used 45. We could have used the third term. We could have done 45 times r, but this, since this is our third term, our exponent is 9 minus 3 a sub 9 equals 45 times 3 to the 6th power. a sub 9 equals 45 times 729. And it too equals 32,805. So we don't always have to use the first term. Some of it depends on what we may have at our disposal. In our last sample, we're told that the fourth term of a geometric sequence is 125, so that would be a sub 4, and the tenth term is 125 sixty fourths, so that's a sub 10. We want to find the fourteenth term and assume that the terms of the sequence are positive. So the tenth term is related to the fourth term by our particular equation, a sub 10 equals a sub 4 r to the 6th, and that r to the 6th is our 10th term minus our 4th term, what we just saw in our previous sample. Because a sub 10 equals 125 sixty fourths, and a sub 4 is 125, and r to the 6th is our, our a r to the 10 minus 4, that might just be easier, so that's how we get the r to the sixth, right? That came from up here. So they're telling us substitute 125 over 64 for a sub 10. We've done that. And 125 for a sub 4. So now we're just simply solving for r. So we want to isolate r to the sixth. So we divide both sides by 125. So our 125's cancel, we get 1 over 64 equals r to the 6th, and take the 6th root of each side, and the 6th root of 64 is 2, so 1 over 2 equals r. And now we've calculated the r for that sequence. Now finally answering the question, we want to obtain the 14th term, substituting into our equation, a sub 14 equals a sub 10, times r to the fourth, and the four that came from, all right, 14 minus 10 gave us our r to the fourth. We get 125 over 64 equals one half, the r that we calculated to the fourth, and that equals 125 over 1024, which is our a to the 14th, or our 14th term. And that concludes this lesson on geometric sequences. And we'll get some more practice with this when I see you in class.